This, my friends, is the Intermatic Little Gray Box, or Electric Water Heater Timer. Let's look inside and see how it works. This is the yellow clock dial. The time of day pointer, on off switch lever, and insulator shield. And removing the insulator shield exposes the electrical terminals. So first turn off the circuit breakers. The timer mechanism can be removed by pressing the middle clip and lifting the mechanism out like so. Turning the mechanism over, we can see the clock motor and electrical contacts. Operating the switch lever to the left opens the contacts and to the right closes the contacts open close open close open close the clock motor gear meshes with this intermediate gear which meshes with the yellow clock dial gear. To disengage the yellow clock dial gear, pull the dial forward. Print it on the dial face, pull out the dial, turn dial to set time. The current time of day is to be set to the tip of the time of day pointer. In this example, to 12 midnight. Fifteen minute increments are marked on the dial. The pointer and dial are not normally removed, but I'm removing them to give you a look behind them. Again, this is the clock motor gear, which meshes with the intermediate gear which in turn meshes with the yellow clock dial gear and turns the yellow clock dial. Now we better look at the switch. The lever manually turns the switch off and on. The off tripper automatically turns the switch off and the on tripper automatically turns the switch on. Speaking of the trippers, here they are. They attach to the perimeter of the clock dial. This on tripper is set for 4 p.m. And this off tripper is set for 10 p.m. The on tripper tab is closer to the center of the dial and engages with the top of the switch to turn the switch on. The off tripper tab is closer to the edge of the dial and engages with the bottom of the switch to turn the switch off. That, my friends, is how the little gray box works.